हेलो वेलकम एंड नमस्कार टाइम सीरीज एनालिसिस नॉन लीनियर ट्रेंड एंड इन विच एक्सपोनेंशियल ट्रेंड द सेकंड एग्जांपल ऑफ एक्सपोनेंशियल ट्रेंड इन दिस केस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टाइम सीरीज हैविंग इवन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द पॉइंट मोर देन वंस इन केस ऑफ स्ट्रेट लाइन ट्रेंड एंड सेकंड डिग्री पैराबोला लेट्स डिस्कस इट अगेन इवन नंबर ऑफ इयर्स the first point is there can never be a single middle year so we have to take the mean of the two middle years as origin and that is 1981 that comes between 76 and 86 number 2 again i repeat in india and many countries in asia and indian subcontinent the reference books on statistics suggest that in case of finding the x values for the years or periods they suggest for change of scale by dividing interval in the time series in case of odd number of years and half of interval in case of time series with even number of years that's why i am discussing this this point in modern reference books particularly originally written in western countries this pattern or this thing is not followed me and many like me also don't follow this pattern but in a very wide area in the world this is suggested by many authors and that's why it is taught by thousands of teachers worldwide that's why i am discussing this in particularly the change of scale in case of time series okay leave it now x for the year 1946 will be 1946 minus 1981 divided by half of interval means 5 because interval is of 10 years so it is minus 7 again 56 minus 1981 divided by 5 will be 25 divided by minus 25 divided by 5 will be minus 5 similarly minus 3 minus 1 positive 1 positive 3 positive 5 positive positive 16 negative 16 it is 0 sigma x should always be 0 okay now what capital y that is actually logarithmic value of y that is value dependent variable in case of time series yes 1 2 3 4 these four have only single digit before the decimal point so before decimal point there will be 0 1 minus 1 these four have two digits before the decimal point 2 minus 1 that is 1 so in its logarithmic value 1 will be before the decimal point now forget the decimal points from the original values they are now without decimal points this is something like 39 find out row 39 in your log table nothing is after 39 so find out the column of 0 and find out the value at the point of intersection row of 39 and column of 0 and that is 5911 that is logarithmic value 0.5911 is logarithmic value of 3.9 and in this way we can find out the logarithmic value of all these practice be careful i am writing all the logarithmic value which i have already written with me 72438633982311062330 and 4900 the summation comes to 8.3601 sigma capital y capital y is the sign of logarithmic value of small y yes x we have already written so now it is turn off x into capital y multiplication of these two it is minus 4.1377 minus 3.6215 Minus 2.5899, minus 0.9823, positive 
पॉजिटिव थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स नाइन नाइन जीरो पॉजिटिव सिक्स पॉइंट एट टू सेवन फाइव एंड पॉजिटिव टेन पॉइंट फोर थ्री डबल जीरो पॉजिटिव टोटल कम्स टू ट्वेंटी टू पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स सेवन वन नेगेटिव टोटल कम्स टू इलेवन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री वन फोर एंड नेट कम्स टू पॉजिटिव टेन पॉइंट सेवन थ्री फाइव सेवन This is sigma x into capital Y. Okay, now what? Another last column is x square. Because by using the logarithm, we have converted the exponential trend into something like linear trend. So the process is almost similar to finding the linear trend. But at the last stage, we have to find out the values of capital A and capital B from the values of logarithmic values of small a and small b with the help of anti log. Yes, forty-nine, forty-nine, twenty-five, nine, one, one, nine, twenty-five, and fourteen-nine. So it comes to one hundred sixty-eight sigma x square. Uh, first. Standard equation is sigma capital Y equals to n a plus b sigma x square. Sigma capital Y is eight point three six zero one. N is eight a plus b into sorry zero. Therefore, eight a equals to eight point three six zero one. Therefore, a equals to one point zero four five zero. But we know that small a is sine of logarithmic value of capital A from the standard equation. So capital A will be anti log of a. That means anti log of zero. Sorry, one point zero four five zero. In the table of anti logarithms, it comes to one one zero nine. Now. In this value, before the decimal point, there is one. So consider one as value one. Add one to it. One plus one is equal to two. So after two dig digits, there will be the decimal point. This is value of capital A from the standard equation. Okay, let's find out B in the same way. The second standard equation, rather normal equation, is sigma x y equals to a sigma x plus b sigma x square. That means ten point seven three five seven equals to a into zero plus b into one hundred sixty eight. Therefore, b equals to ten point seven three five seven divided by one sixty eight, and therefore b equals to Point zero six three nine. Quite a small number, but don't worry because B is actually substitution for logarithm of capital B. Therefore, capital B is anti log of small b. That means anti log of zero point zero six three nine. That means from the table of anti logarithm, find out the row of zero six. Find out the column of three. Find out the value at the point of intersection of row zero six and column three. Add the mean difference of nine from the last columns into it, and that is one one five eight. Now, for the purpose of sub substituting or placing the decimal point, what is the value before decimal point here? It is zero. Take zero as value, not a digit. Value zero, add one into it. Zero plus one is one. So after one digit, there will be a decimal point. So ultimately, the capital B comes to one point one five eight in the standard equation. Standard equation is estimated y equals to a into b raised to x. So it is now a eleven point zero nine. Into b 1.158 raised to x. This is the exponential trend for this time series.
Now what? We can find out the estimated value for any near future year or drain values of all these just by substituting the value of x here. But please be careful where x is negative. Where x is negative, we have to take special care. As a student, we are habituated to make mistake. So I am going to find out say trend value of any one of the years. Trend value for 1996 X is sorry 1966 not 96 1966 X is minus 3. So Estimate for rather trend value for 1966 will be 11.09 into 1.158 raised to minus 3. That is 11.09 into 1 upon 1.158 raised to 3. That will be 11.09 into 1 upon yes. One point one five eight. One point five five two eight. So it is ultimately something like eleven point zero nine divided by one point five five two eight. So the trend value for nineteen sixty six is. 11.09 divided by 1.5528 it is 7.141 rather 7.14 so be careful where the value of x is negative at the time of finding the trend values in case of positive this step will not be there positive 3 we have to multiply directly the cube of 1.158 with 11.09 but in case of negative value of x there is a very small possibility of making error first possibility is of forgetting the negative sign so please be careful so this is now your assignment to find out trend value of all other remaining seven years and estimated value of at least one future year that's it thank you very much